Hello, my name is Mike Merton. I am involved in raising corn and soybeans in Maurer County, Minnesota. Uh, I have uh, a partner and a son and a nephew that works with me in our farming operation. Um, we just visited with Representative Hoppy from the state legislature. She came out and listen to some of the issues that we have as corn farmers. Uh, we touched on a number of things, things that the legislators, legislation is, is helping and some issues that uh, still need some work and things that we think can be improved as, as uh, corn farmers raising corn in Minnesota. Um, I think the uh, uh, E15 standard that has been talked about and really like to see implemented in Minnesota would be a, a, a very big help uh, as a market for our corn going into ethanol and then the demand for ethanol, ethanol helps uh, uh, use that corn in, in Minnesota. Uh, a, a large portion of our corn crop is used to produce ethanol and that is an important market for us. Uh, as corn farmers, but also uh, the industry, the ethanol industry uh, employs a lot of people. The economic benefit locally is huge and it also helps the environment. So we've, we've got a lot of advantages to uh, corn-based ethanol and uh, it is an important market for us. Um, we've, with Representative Poppy, we touched on a number of other issues. Uh, the property taxes on our buffer strips, uh, that discussion was had uh, ever since these buffer strips were put into place and, and required, we basically took those acres of production um, and, and we can no longer produce corn on, on those acres. Uh, we are still taxed on those acres as though it is full production and, and able to make money on those acres. Um, now we're, we're really just, uh, the land is taken out of production and yet we're still paying full tax on that. 